YouTube, but what's up? Today I want to bring you guys a quick little tip, one of the best route combinations in the game I feel is underutilized and it's something that can really improve your game no matter what offense you're running. If you're struggling to find an offense, the Madden Turf link is below. You can get my New Orleans Saints ebook and help you out and get you off the ground improve your game that much more but if you already have your offense we're halfway through october i'm assuming most of you guys have something that you like to run whether it being solos whether it being my head to head whether it be against your buddy you have an idea of what plays you want to run and this is just something to really improve your game offensively you know tenfold it's something that i think all you guys need to get better at and that's attacking the sidelines and using a high low concept to pretty much you know, keep your passes away from the user because most users are in the middle of the field. And obviously, we're, you all probably pretty good at attacking the middle of the field. It's the, f the first place in Madden where we start passing the ball, whether it be a tight end slant, a tight end fade, fades to the, the seam, you know, little drags right over the middle of the field. Obviously, they're the easiest passes to make. Even in real life, you know, you see the rookie quarterback always likes his tight end because he's always available over the middle of the field. And obviously, we need to go ahead and, and expand the passing game because I think everybody's focused on the middle of the field, especially, you know, beginner players and, you know, amateur players, so on and so forth. But I want you guys to get better at attacking the sideline. And this is one of the route combinations that I use often to attack the sideline. It's a way to go ahead and use your tight end and use your outside wide receiver in order to get some big yards in order to, you know, keep the defense honest. And the most important thing with this route combination is being able to take what they give you. You know, you can't be greedy. You know, a greedy man offensively is going to turn the ball over, especially in a tie game, especially beginning of the game. You need to take what the defense gives you. It's one of the most basic pieces of advice I can give somebody, but it's so important, especially when dealing with cover three or even cover two or any type of coverage defense, you have to take what's given there because if you consistently take what's given, it's going to give you an opportunity to get a bigger play because people are impatient naturally. You know, ADD is running rampant through the world and it applies to men too. You know, the defensive player is not going to be consistently patient where you getting four or five yards every single play. They're going to take a chance to stop you. And that's when you have an opportunity to go ahead and get bigger plays. But the only way you get that is if you take what the defense gives you. I want to give you a great example of route combination that I use all the time, you know, to really keep my opponent honest and really attack the sideline rather than the middle of the field where their user is. So right now I have the Philadelphia Eagles against the Jacksonville Jaguars. This is on all Madden. Probably the best defense in the game. I have 4-6 normal. Obviously, you guys play against that all the time. Speed package, but I actually moved A.J. Boye over to the strong safety. And Jalen Ramsey on the right side. We're just going to run cover three, which is probably one of the most common defenses you guys are going to find in Madden. And like I said, this, play, this route combination can be any single formation, any single play, any single playbook. So right now we have cover three. We have Boye over here. We're going to put him in cloud flat because purple zones. I mean, I don't know who's out here with purple zones still. And that's the defense. I mean, this is probably a defense you guys play against all the time. You know, they have speed packets, so they have their corners. They have their Deion Sanders in here, their, their Xavier Rhodes, whatever it may be. And this is a common defense you guys see all the time. And they'll use it in the middle of the field. It's really not a big play that you can get out of here. So you have to take what the defense gives you. And, and the key to this is you're just reading this guy. You know, as much as you guys think we might look at the whole field, and I wish I could tell you that I could see the whole field, but that's really not what we do every time you drop back. I just read a certain part of the field. And 4-6 I know is cover 3 or cover 2 invert. And the biggest thing with that is this corner, Jalen Ramsey, will always be in the deep blue. Whether it be an inverted deep blue like that or just a cover three like that, he's in a deep blue. I mean, he can always be manned up, but more than likely, unless this guy's crazy, he's not going to be out here in the flat zone. And if he's, they start putting him in the flat zone, that's what I mean when you find a big play on the field. So what I, what I want to do is use my tight end, Zach Ertz, and Jordan Matthews, who's obviously a pedestrian wide receiver. I'm assuming all you guys have better wide receivers on your mutt team. To go ahead and attack A.J. Boye and Jalen Ramsey, who's probably the best corner tandem in the NFL and definitely on Madden. 
And Ertz and Matthews don't have speed. They don't have nothing crazy. They'll catch the ball, and that's all. But the main thing I want to do here is I want to put Ertz on a zigzag, and I want to put Matthews on a comeback. That's your high-low right there. If it's a cloud flat, if Boye is going to drop back, we're going to hit Ertz for four to five yards. Hopefully, he fights forward and he gets, you know, 10 yards. It just depends on what Ertz can do. Now, if you have Gronk or you have, you know, Kelsey or Kellen Winslow or who uh, Shannon Sharp, they're going to fight a little bit more. Now, in my ebook, I get my running back at tight end. Now, obviously, if you can get a running back at tight end, whether it be Eddie George, whether it be Todd Gurley, Le'Veon Bell, who's ever at tight end is going to get eight exponentially more yards than Zach Ertz or, or Gronk or because they're just faster. They can spin. They can get way more yards after the catch. But Ertz will do if you're playing regs. Ertz will do. Gronk will kill. Obviously, any tight end that's going to fall forward, they're all big bodies. They can all run over DBs. So you got to give them the ball and, and take what the defense gives you. So here, well, this first play of the game, a guy's probably going to be in cloud flats playing safe. You have Boye out here in the cloud flats. So I'm pretty much, instead of reading the whole field, because this guy's going to be user in the middle of the field. I'm just reading Boye. That's all. The one player I'm looking at. Because I know this. I know Ramsey's in the deep blue. I know this guy's probably rushing. <laughs> this guy's in the yellow. And I know this guy is a flat zone. I just know that. And part of defense, part of a good offense player is knowing what the defense is. You know, you get familiar playing against this. You know this is the only guy that can stop these two routes. He's the, it's only one person for two routes. I am singling out A.J. Boye. There's nobody else on the field for me offensively right now until he starts adjusting. So that that's who I'm making a read off of is Boye. That's it. Make sure I'm not clicked on him so the computer is actually Boye. Go ahead underneath his Ertz. That's all. He dropped back to the comeback route. Ertz actually got bumped on that play. And that caused A.J. Boye to back up a little more. That's one reason I like the zig over the flat route is because it allows Boye to drop down the field more and allow me to pick up more yards with Zach Ertz. So we'll put him in cloud flats again. Smooth has got a little. I don't, I don't want that bump. So it's pretty much just Boye. So if he's in a cloud flat, I can go ahead and hit Ertz underneath, break one tackle, and we get six, seven, eight yards right there. And that, that's... That's a big deal in Madden. So, once again, we're going to go cloud flat, show you guys. that That's what you have to do. You have to hit Ertz if they're cloud flatted until they start hard flattening. Zigzag to the comeback. That's all. Boom. That's probably the best one yet. Probably got 10 yards. What did I get? What I started? I started at the 42. I got down around the 32. Probably 10 yards right there against two of the best corners in the game. And Boye and Ramsey. So now, you know, Bazooka Joe on the other side is going to say, you know, I'm tired of him doing the Ertz. Let me put, you know, Ram Boye is going to stop that, right? Now we're going to do the same thing. He's going to hard flat it so he can take that away. This is when the comeback route comes into play. So you see the hard flat takes it, and we can hit the comeback route to Jordan Matthews. We can hold possession catch and go ahead and, and go down and catch the ball right there. Now, obviously, if you have Moss or you have a faster, better receiver, he's going he's gonna to run that route a lot better than Jordan Matthews. But but this comeback route, to me, Jordan Matthews will, is good enough. Possession catch, go get it, catching it in front of Jalen Ramsey because we know that guy's in the deep blue, so he's not going to stop the comeback route. So basically, all we're reading is Boye. Whether he's hard flat or he's cloud flat, I have somebody to throw the ball to. Now, you can mix, you have to mix this in with whatever other routes you want to run, whether it be over here with Aguilar on a post or Jeffrey on a drag, because you still want to keep their user in the middle of the field. That way they can't come over here and, and lurk this, this comeback route. Because ideally, what you want is you want their user over here so you can hit whatever pulse, whatever slant, whatever big play over the middle of the field that you want to run. Because if you can get somebody's user on the sideline, the middle field, the middle of the field is your oyster. That's where we want to throw the ball. That's where we get our most chunks. So, like I said, if it's if it's just a hard flat, you can go ahead and hit Jordan Matthews on the comeback. Or if it's cloud flat, I will hit Zach Ertz on the zigzag. Now, the best thing about the comeback route, and I found the comeback route actually at EA Play in the middle of June. 
because man coverage was killer in at EA Play. So you had to find some route that beats man coverage. Now, this is Jalen Ramsey, arguably the best corner in the NFL, the best corner in the game against Jordan Matthews, who is, I mean, Jordan Matthews is, it can't get more pedestrian than Jordan Matthews. He was just signed two weeks ago. I forget how to do, like, show your matchup. But anyway, so that time I manned him up. Is which a common adjustment people might do to try to stop this setup? They have Jalen Ramsey. They assume he can cover Jordan Matthews. So he's going to have a hard flat that's going to take Zach Ertz on the zigzag. I can't throw the zigzag. And then he's going to man up Ramsey on Jordan Matthews. And the reason why I like the comeback route, it crushes man coverage. Now, I haven't ran this with this setup with this personnel yet. I know this crushes man coverage. I'm assuming that Jordan Matthews is going to just it's just a timing throw that's all it is it's still going to be open boom regardless of what corner what wide receiver you cannot man up this route you know so like i said we know that ramsey is not in a in a cloud flat he's definitely going to be in either man cover zone deep zone so we can attack that field so that's why i like these two routes together they really put a bind on this on this DB right here, make him choose whether I want to run hard flats or cloud flats. And eventually they're going to start doing stuff like this to you. You know, wild defenses to guard the sideline. You know, and if you get, a, listen, if you get somebody putting cloud flats and hard flats and purple zones all on one side, now their users here. Now, how how open is the middle of the field? You know, instead of running that, you can just, just go ahead and run quick slants. You know, if you, you the goal of this route combination is to get your opponent to really set up some coverage on the sideline and really, you know, lead the middle of the field open so you can hit whatever post route and whatever, you know, slants or deep in routes you want to hit to get 15, 20 yards in big plays. Like I said, I hope you guys really like this and really can incorporate this into your game. Really take you to the next level and really be able to attack the sideline. I think it's something that you need. we all need to take that next step to go ahead and become better players is attack the sideline. And this is the best little route combination that I use that you can incorporate in every formation, whether it be bunch, bunch tight end, ace, uh, ace twins, ace offset, anything you run. Five wide, you can do with wide receivers. It's just a quick high-low action that, that really isn't in the, used in the game that much this year. And I think it can really help all you guys, man. And if you need help, if you need to find the post routes to hit once they start guarding the thing, hit that link to Man Turf. The New Orleans Saints ebook is available for you guys when you can incorporate those routes. And if you watch me play, you see me do stuff like this all the time. Really put the defense in a bind and, and really use my tight end and that comeback route to really shut the defenses. If you like this tip, if you're going to use it, man, please hit the like button. Please sub to the YouTube. If you want more tips on the stream, please comment below if this is something you want to see from me. I appreciate all y'all support.